hi my name is joanna oko and today i'm going to show you how to crochet these shorts have you ever tried making these shorts and then you ended up with a very loose fitting on the thigh well that was me sometimes back but i figured how to make these shorts perfectly and so i'm here to give you tricks on how to go about it and it's going to be more of measurement based and you need the following measurements you need your round fly and if you don't know what round fly is it's from your waist going towards the bottom part and then up towards your waist again that's your round fly you also need your hip size and you also need your fuller thighs measurements all in inches and i also have a tutorial on this top and i'm going to drop a tutorial on this top two days after uploading the shorts tutorial so kindly hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that each and every time i upload weekly videos you'll be notified so let's get started for the material i'm going to use this fingering yarn and it's 100 percent acrylic i would love these shorts to have a very lightweight feel so that's why i'm using fingering yarn but you can use any other yarn of your choice as long as you are comfortable with it and i'm going to use this for color combination to achieve the rasta look and for the fingering yarn i'm going to use 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and you need a tape measure you need tapestry needle to weave in your ends and scissor to cut off your ends. We are going to make these shorts into panel and I've already made the first part of it. And it's important to note that the two sides of the short should be exactly the same. And also this short is increasing in the middle point and then on the sides it's also increasing and I'll be working with a hip size of 39 and what I'm going to do is from your hip size deduct one inch because that one inch we are going to use it to when joining the two sides together you're going to add that additional one inch so it should be your hip size minus one inch so for instance with the 39 inches hips i'm going to deduct one so i'm left with 38 inches so that means one part of the short should be 19 inches and the other part should also be 19 inches and this is the part where you're going to measure and you should be stretching your work completely when measuring the this part over here so when i stretch my work out and then i'm going to measure using a tape measure it's accommodating 19 inches so now let's make the other part and it's going to be the same thing i have made so far to begin make a slip knot And then I'm going to chain eight. Seven, eight. And then I'm going to go back into the first chain that I made and insert my hook there. And then yarn over and grab the yarn and make a slip stitch. And then I'm going to chain three. The chain three acts as my first double crochet. And then I'm going to go inside the loop, the circle that we've just created, and I'm going to do two more double crochet inside the circle. So that's one, and that's two. So now, technically, I have three double crochet, and then I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to go back inside the same circle here and make three double crochet. One, two, three. So I have another set of th three double crochet and then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make three double crochet in the same circle again. one two three and then i'm going to chain two and make three 
more double crochet in the same circle two three so at this point i have four cluster of double crochet this is the first one second one third one and fourth one so you should be having four clusters of three double crochet together so to begin on the next row i'm going to chain five one two three four five and then i'm going to turn my work around onto this other side and so the chain five the first three chains acts as my first double crochet and then the two chains act as the two okay let me just do that you'll notice it later so after chaining five go into this chain two space and make three double crochet and then chain two and then inside the same chain two space make three more double crochet So at this point, it's like we have a shell now and the first three was our double crochet and then the extra two stitches is like chain two space. And then you're going to chain two and then go into this chain two space over here and make three double crochets. chain two and then make three more double crochet in the same chain two space so we've created another shell stitch over here so we have the first shell stitch the second shell stitch and we're going to make the last shell stitch so chain two and then inside the chain two space over here make a shell by first making three double crochets and then spacing it out using a chain two and then three more double crochets in the same chain two space. So you have another shell over here. Sorry, I'm working with the black yarn and it might be tricky seeing the stitches. I hope it's visible. And so to complete, oh my God. <laughs> to complete the row, I have three double crochets left over here. So I'm going to chain two. And the chain two, it's it's for the the first two double crochets and then I'm going to make a double crochet inside the last on top of the last double crochet the first double crochet over here like that so to begin on the next row you're going to chain three turn your work around and then the chain three acts as your first double crochet now go inside this chain two space and add two more double crochet like that so technically you have three double crochet in the chain two space now and then chain two and then remember we have a shell stitch over here we're going to make a shell stitch by first making three double crochets And then space it out by chaining two and then make three more double crochet in the same stitch and now chain two and as you can see we have a chain two space over here we are going now to make a three double crochet inside that chain two space So at this point, 
we are not going to make a shell stitch inside this chain two space it's because our stitches are now increasing and you're only going to make a shell stitch at the point where at the point where you are seeing a shell stitch so go inside this middle shell stitch and make a shell by first making three double crochet chain two make three more double crochet in the same chain two space so you have your shell and then chain two and then go inside this chain two space that you created and make three double crochet and then chain two and then now we also have a shell stitch go inside that shell stitch and make a shell by first creating three double crochet space it out using a chain two stitch and then three double crochet inside the chain two space and then now chain two and then remember we have our chain five so you're going to make three double crochet inside that chain five space that you created earlier on like that and now you've completed your row so to begin on the next row so as you can see we have three we have three corners this corner here which is a shell the middle point is also a shell and then this other point is also a shell and as we increase as we increase our stitches you can see that we are creating chain two spaces in which we are making three double crochets in those chain two spaces that are being created so to begin on the next row so to begin on this row you are going to chain five two three four five so it's important to note that at every beginning of a row you are going to start by chaining five because the first three double crochets acts as your first double crochet and then the extra two stitches acts as your chain two space and then turn your work around and then go directly into the chain two space and make three double crochet And then chain two now you are inside the shell stitch make a shell chain two make three more double crochets there chain two as you can see we are increasing here like now we have an additional chain two space that we created previously and go straight there and make your three double crochets chain two now make two three more double crochet inside this chain two space chain two now you're at the middle point which is a shell stitch and make a shell chain two and repeat three more double crochet inside the same space chain two and two double crochet sorry three double crochet in that chain two space chain two three double crochet in the next chain two space chain two 
and three double crochet inside the shell stitch and then space it out with a chain two and repeat three double crochet and then chain two and two double crochet inside the chain two space and then to complete the row you are going to chain two and then skip the next two double crochet and then inside the last double crochet you are going to make a double crochet and this is going to be our pattern until you get your hip size by measuring this waist point and so at this point i'm going to change color Now I'm going to add one more extra row and then I'm going to show you how to change your color. So this is how you're going to change your color. So I'm in the last part of the row and I have made two double crochet and I'm going to make one extra, the last double crochet to make them three. And then before I pull this final stitch, this is where I'm going to change my yarn. And I'm going to take the color that I need to use next and then pull it on the final stitch like that. And then I'm going to turn my work around and tie those two strings twice to secure it properly. Like that. And at this point now I can cut off the black color and then to begin on the next row I'm going to chain five it's important to note that at every beginning of the row you are supposed to chain five and then turn your work around and then go immediately into the chain two space and make your three double crochet like that and then chain two and inside the chain two space make three double crochet and now you're at the corner which is a shell stitch still you're going to chain two don't forget to chain two at this corner as well and go inside the chain two space of the shell stitch and make a shell by making your first three double crochet like that and then chaining two to space it out and then three more double crochet in the same chain two space like that and to go on this other side kindly do not forget to chain two chain two and then go now into the chain two space and make three double crochets and then chain two so as you can see the chain three are increasing at this point remember we had one now on the next row we have two on the next row one two three and then on the next row it's going to be four and it will keep on increasing like that as you go So I have my three double crochets and then chain two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochet in the chain two space. I'm at the corner now. I'm going to chain two and make a shell stitch inside that shell stitch which is the middle point once I'm done with the shell stitch I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make three double crochet in, inside the chain two space chain two three double crochet inside the chain two space chain two three double crochet inside the chain two space 
chain two, three double crochet inside the chain, two space. Now we're at the corner again, chain two and make a shell. Chain two to space it out. Your final three double crochet inside that same stitch. Three double crochet. Chain two. Three double crochet. So we are ending the row and to finish off the row you're supposed to chain two and make a double crochet in the last double crochet like that. So this is going to be the pattern. Repeat this over and over again until you achieve your sizing and you're going to know where to stop once you hit the half of your hip size. So the secret to the perfect sizing of these shorts is I'm using the chain three to act as my double crochet while some people will use chain two to represent a double crochet and remember you need to hit your hip size quite fast and if you use chain two instead of chain three as a double crochet then it means that you will need to make extra rows to fit your hip size which we are going to measure on the waist size and as your stitches are increasing it means that this is the thigh the thigh gap yeah the thigh size it means that this size this part is also increasing at, as well and that's why you end up with a very loose fitting on the thigh and you wonder you wonder where you went wrong it's because uh, your waist wasn't stretching as fast as it should have been. So that's the secret. So I'm done working on this piece and I have my half of my hip size and it's the same size to this other piece over here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to join these two parts together. And as you can see, I have two rows of black on this part and also I have two rows of black on this other part so what I'm going to do before joining them I'm going to make an extra row of black and then when I get to this down part this is where I'm going to attach the two sides together so let's do that so just go ahead and work on it and then make a shell stitch here i'm going to meet you at this bottom part and then show you what to do so i'm towards this middle point and i'm going to chain two and instead of making a shell i'm going to make three double crochet one two three and then I'm going to attach this side onto this other part over here. This is what I have. So I'm going to join this middle point to this other middle point. And to do, to do that, I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to go directly into this shell over here. And I'm going to make three double crochet like that so I have joined these two sides together by only making three double crochet here chaining two and then three double crochet over here as well so whatever your size is you don't really need to chain longer here to join the two sides together remember when we're making these shorts it's increasing on the hip size and at the same time we are increasing the round fly so even if you are large or extra large it means that while making your hip size you've already increased this middle point and so you don't need to chain longer to join the two sides together 
So after joining the two sides together, you're just going to chain two and repeat the same thing you've been doing. Make this row and then when we when you get to the corner part of it you're going to make a shell stitch and then you're going to make three double crochet in those chain two spaces and then i'm going to meet you at these upper parts i'm at the end of the row and I'm going to make my final three double crochet. So now I have joined the two sides together, as you can see. And now I have three rows of black and also three rows of black on to this other side. Now it's time to join these sides together. From here to here, it's time to join them and to do that, to do that, take your hook and insert it into the first double crochet on this other side and then now grab your yarn on this other side and you're going to chain three. This acts as your first double crochet. Remember here we have three double crochet and then pull it on to this other side like that. And then you're going to yarn over. And now remember the first, this chain three is our first double crochet. Now go inside the second double crochet and make a double crochet there. And then turn to this other side and make a slip stitch into the second double crochet on this other side and then yarn over again and go into the last double crochet here and make a double crochet there and then slip stitch now into this last double crochet here and then now you're going to go direct into this chain two space and make three double crochet there one two three and then turn on to this other side and in the first chain two make a slip stitch in that chain two space and then go on to this other side and in the chain two space make a double crochet make three double crochet sorry and then turn on to this other side and in the chain two space, in the next chain, chain two space, make a slip stitch. And then you're going to turn on to this other side again. And in the chain two space, make three double crochet. And then turn on to this other side. And in the next chain two, in the next chain two space, make a slip stitch so this is going to be your pattern until you close the entire part making three double crochet on the other side of chain two space and then when you get when you turn to this other side you are going to go into the chain two space and make a slip stitch three and then turn on to this other side this chain two space make a slip stitch so go ahead and complete that i'll meet you at this end so one left um, at this middle point here and the middle point of this other one left so i'm going to make three double crochet there the same thing we've been doing and then go into this other side and in the chain two space I'm going to make a slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn 
and tighten it off and this is what we have after joining it this is what we have it's so seamless on both sides yeah so now that you've fixed one side of your work and it's perfectly well you're going to repeat the same thing onto this other side by attaching your yarn on top of this part and make your stitches and then when you get to this bottom part which i am now so i've already made this row so i'm at the middle point and i want to show you what to do here so it's like one stitch left to get me inside this uh, chain space and i'm going to chain two i'm going to go directly into this chain middle chain space and make three double crochet remember we had already made three double crochet while working on this other side so just make three double crochet and then after making your three double crochet like that on top of this first double crochet you are going to make a slip stitch like that and then you're going to chain two and then go on to this other side and then on top of this first double crochet make a slip stitch like that and then you're going to go directly into this the shell stitch of this other side and make three double crochet inside that chain two space to complete the shell like that and now you're going to go ahead and chain two and complete the row onto this other side so go ahead and complete the row onto this other side and then when you get to this point you are going to join these two sides together the same way i showed you how to do it onto this other side so i have joined the two sides together and the waist can accommodate my hip size and that's what's important so now it's time to work on the thigh on this thigh part and to do that you're going to take your yarn and go into the middle point over here inside the chain to space and attach your yarn so after attaching your yarn chain three and the chain three acts as your first double crochet and then make two more double crochet in the in the same space so in total you have three double crochet now chain two and then go into this next chain two space and make three double crochet the same thing we've been doing chaining two and then into the chain two space make three double crochet so remember we are starting to work on the thigh part by attaching your yarn on in the middle point here and so you're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing and then when you get to this corner i'm going to show you what to do so i'm at this point where we joined our work and as you can see this is where the shell stitch is so i'm going to chain two and then go inside this shell stitch and make three double crochet there like that and then i'm going to chain two and then go immediately in the next shell stitch over here and make three double crochet And then you're going to chain two and repeat the process so in every chain two space you're making 
three double crochet and also you are spacing it out using chain two stitches so i'm going to meet you at the end of the row to close the row i'm going to chain two and then go inside the first double crochet and make a slip stitch to join and to begin on the next row i'm going to chain three which acts as our first double crochet and then i'm going to turn my work around so i'll be going back and forth back and forth and i'm going to make two more double crochet in that chain two space so now i have three double crochet and then I'm going to repeat the same thing by chaining two and in the chain two space making three double crochets until I complete the row, chain two and then three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, I'll meet you at this point. I'm at the end of the row and to close it we're going to chain two and slip stitch into the first double crochet. And then to begin on the next row you're going to chain three turn your work around and then repeat the same thing i showed you in the previous row and this is going to be your pattern until you get your desired thigh coverage now go ahead and work on that and i'll meet you once i get my desired thigh size as well at this point i'm satisfied with the height that i've made if you feel the need to decrease the circumference of your thigh instead of chaining two you are going to chain one instead so after making your three double crochets instead of chaining two chain one and then make your three double crochet in the next chain two space chain one and repeat the same thing until you complete the row to decrease the circumference of your shorts to close the row chain one and make a slip stitch chain one and cut off your yarn and tighten it off so now go ahead and repeat the same thing on to this other side and to begin making this other side you are going to attach your yarn in the middle part and then do the same thing that we did and then the next thing we're going to do is to fix the waist part so i completed the other side of the thigh and the only part remaining is to fix the waist so take your yarn and attach it in the middle point and i'm going to use single crochet to do that so after pulling like that i'm going to chain one go back and make a single crochet like that and then i'm going to chain one so this single crochet in the chain one acts as my first double crochet and then i'm going to go in the same center point and make another double crochet so at this point we're going to make three double crochet so here we have like the three double crochets on top of that double crochet the first double crochet i'm going to make three stitches and then in the next chain space i'm going to make three double crochet as well in the next where we have the three double crochets cluster on top of this first double crochet inside it i mean i'm going to make three double crochet and this is going to be our pattern until you complete the row where you have the space make three double crochet where you have the three double crochet cluster this you're going to make three double crochet so go ahead and do that i'm going to meet you at the starting point so i'm at the end of the row i'm going to make my final double crochet and then i'm going to go inside the first stitch and make a slip stitch to close the circle so i decided to change my color and while making the last stitch i'm going to change the color there and now i'm going to chain five and i'm going to skip two stitches and make a double crochet chain two 
skip 2 stitches, make a double crochet, chain 2, skip 2 stitches and make a double crochet and this is going to be our pattern until the end of the row. To close the row, chain 2 and slip stitch into the chain 3 stitch. And then I'm also going to change my color and you're going to repeat this. Once you've changed your color, make sure you secure your yarns properly by at least trying it twice. And then repeat the same process by starting chain should be chain 5. And then skip 2, make a double crochet, chain 2, and then double crochet on top of the previous double crochet, like that. So go ahead and repeat this until you get the desired height of your waistband. On the final row, I'm going to make shell stitch and to do that, I'm going to double crochet five times in the chain two space. And then in the next chain two space, I'm going to single crochet. In the next chain two space, five double crochet. In the next chain to space make a single crochet you'll be alternating double crochet and single crochet until you complete the row and then you're going to slip stitch to join chain one and cut off your yarn so at this point I'm going to take a drawstring and fix it on the waist part for adjustment and then the final step is going to be weaving in the ends and please make sure you weave in your ends properly well because it affects the quality of your work and thank you for watching until the end i can't wait to see you in my next video